again guys James Acker here I was going to tell you about my trailer hitch and uh, one other thing before uh, I get started um, on my 204 the pressure regulator fuel pressure regulator is back here behind the right front uh, right rear wheel and uh, the vapor canister, uh, if you can see right over here, I'll get this light out of the way. As you can see, it's right there. You'd probably have to take the wheel off, I'm sure, in the inner liner to get to it. Well, okay, so much for that. And all the fuel regulators I saw were up on the fuel rail. But on uh, my trailer hitch, I bought some 3 16 uh, wall two inch pipe and uh, made a, a little L bracket on each side cut it to the length I wanted it and then I spot welded it I got it where I wanted it and then I put a gusset over here on the side right there to give it extra strength where it wouldn't bend down and then up here on the side You can see this uh, eighth inch plate, two bolts through the frame, and another gusset over here so it wouldn't couldn't twist down. Did that on both sides. I went to a farm supply store, uh, Rural King. And bought this two inch receiver, which is bigger than the uh, main rail. So I cut the bottom out, welded it all around, put gussets on both sides, and this half inch steel curved rod. And if you're wondering what this bolt is, when you put that air and lock it in, you tighten that bolt and it gets rid of the slack. Also, uh, before I built the trailer hitch, I had built this uh, tow hook. And when I built the trailer hitch, it wouldn't go back where I had it. So, um, and I didn't, I didn't like the complete loop that I had made. So I opened it, reworked it, welded a bracket on it where it mounted under this corner. I don't want one on the other side because that's where the tailpipe is. But it's good and solid. And I put, uh, quote, backup lights in the bumper, just cut a hole. If you're gonna put lights in the bumper, do that before you put the trailer hitch on. <laughs> it makes it really tight. And uh, bored a two inch hole in the bumper. They're thin. I put my uh, trailer connector. And the reason I use the big one is because my uh, little enclosed trailer has uh, brakes and backup lights. Well, so much for that. You, pro you may have noticed, if you can see it, I got the top off. My daughter-in-law and my son lived next door, and she wanted to drive it without the top, so we took the top off. And, uh, well, that's it for the moment. Well, also, I built my own tow shackle. I had a piece of uh, trailer hitch tubing left over. Run a half-inch plate up through the center, and two three-eighths on each side, and welded it all together. It can't come apart because the hole goes all the way through the half inch piece. And I had to extend the bottom a little bit to get to my um, bolt to keep it from rattling. The shackles, uh, Harbor Freight, uh, it's got those. And uh, one little thing to keep people from running up and stealing it. drilled a hole and countersunk a
cap screw screw through the bottom and uh, didn't cost it cost me mo more uh, labor than it <laughs> did uh, money and of course I could have went Harbor Freight's got these not near the heavy duty but um, for 10 bucks so anyway that's uh, it for now thank you for watching